I am forever organizing my kit. Hey guys, so I'm not showing my face right now because it is not cute. But I'm currently depotting my um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundations. I really love these. These are a great foundation. They are full coverage, but they are not matte. They are more of like a satin finish. Um, they don't last as long on me because I am super oily, but they are so beautiful on the skin and they photograph really well. So I really like these, especially for brides. Um, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades. Um, and it's just too much to be carrying. Like these are like the size of like a regular foundation bottle, slightly smaller, but to carry these and all of my regular foundations, it's just too, takes up way too much room. So I'm depotting them into, um, this, uh, view set palette. It's just like a plastic palette and I'm just depotting them and I'm going to clean it up because I don't know, depotting can be a little bit messy, <laughs> to be completely honest. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I actually did depot some of them, but I didn't put the whole stick in. But I'm trying to put as much as I can fit into these little containers. Um, so yeah, that is what I am doing <laughs> right now. <sighs> Hey guys, so I am currently on my floor right now. Um, everything is like a mess. I am actually transferring my uh, foundations in my freelance kit into these little bottles. I got them on Amazon. Um, as you can see, I'm just transferring some of them. I'm not going to transfer all of them, but I'm transferring some of them. And I have little labels that I'm going to put on them. And I got them off of Amazon. They just come like this. And then they have the little top piece and then the cap. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because my kit is so heavy. And I just need to make some more space. And I have so many foundations. I feel like foundations is one of those things you should have a lot of. And I have so many. And they just take up so much room. Um, like these, um, I have a lot of these Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundations, which I really, really like. They're similar to MAC Studio Fix, but I feel like they're just not as thick. Um, but they're heavy. Like this bottle is heavy and I have a bunch of shades of them. So I'm just like, you know what? I need to consolidate. So I am transferring them into these little bottles and I'm so excited. Like organizing makes me so excited. I know that's weird. But, um, yeah, and they basically are little squeeze bottles, which is going to make it a lot easier than having to pump everything out. And sometimes you pump out too much. Like, I feel like I have more control if it's in a squeezy little bottle. And it's just so tiny and perfect. So, I'm transferring the foundations. Not It's not all going to fit in this bottle because this is half an ounce and most foundations are a fluid ounce. But a lot of my foundations, you know, I've used a lot of anyway. So... I'm just about finishing up the bottles. Um, it's not like I just opened these up. So they probably are about half an ounce left in here. Um, so yeah, I am just transferring some of them. Um, and I have my little label maker here that I got on Amazon and I'm just labeling them. So that is what I'm doing. I am organizing my kit. I am forever organizing my kit. If you are a makeup artist, you probably understand and if you're just like a neat freak and organized person, like you're probably always organizing your kit like me. Like I'm always changing things up and making it organized and just, I don't know, clean. And I'm always consolidating my products so my bag isn't so heavy. But updated for, uh, what's in my kit is coming once I finish this. I want to finish transferring all these and then put them in my kit and all that. So. Down. So I just got done setting up for a bridal trial, so I thought I would share with you guys what I put out. So starting out over here, um, I just put out these three palettes. I have the two Kat Von D Shade and Light palettes. This one is the matte one, and then this one is the 
shimmery one. Um, I really enjoy these both. Uh, these matte shades are really, really nice. And what I like about them is the browns aren't super duper warm because I feel like every palette, all the browns lately are just so warm, which is fine. I love it, but it's not for everybody. Um, and then this is really nice. I really like this shade. And then this is actually a really nice shade as well um, for the brow bone highlight. I really, really like that one. Um, and then I have my Jaclyn Hill, uh, you know, Morphe palette. Um, I only put these ones out because I know this bride is looking for more of like a classic look. So I feel like you can't really go wrong with these. Um, I have a couple pigments out. I have the Makeup Forever pigments, the Starlet powders, which I really like. I have Inglot number 77, um, Stila Kitten Eyeshadow, MAC Vanilla Pigment. This is just a brown gel liner. Um, and then I have like mascara liners, little tools in there. I have some face powders out. These are MAC MSFs. This one is actually by Lorac, but these two are MAC MSFs. Um, this is the RCMA No Color Powder. This is the Laura Mercier Glow Powder, which I really like to like finish off the face. Um, these are the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powders. I love these. These make the skin look so, so smooth and just really, really nice. They give such a soft matte finish. It's not like a chalky, heavy matte. It's so, so soft. So I really like these. Um, we also have the MAC Highlight and Contour Palette. I love this. As you can see, it's very well loved. I love this palette by Morphe for blush. This is the... Um, 8W, so 8 Warm, love that. Um, I have this Milani bronzer, which I never really used, but I thought I'd put it out today because it's just not really loved, and um, I haven't used it too many times, but it is a really beautiful, subtle bronzer, so I thought I would give it a try today. And then I also have this powder by Lorac. It's actually a face powder, but it's a beautiful color for a bronzer. Um, this is just a highlight palette by uh, Makeup Revolution. I love this. This gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. It's not overwhelming. It doesn't enhance texture. It's really, really pretty. Um, I have brow products in here, my Anastasia Brow Book, and then like pencils, primers, all of that. I have some lashes. I have my e.l.f. Beauty Sponge that I just washed. Over here, I have my brushes. I have this little situation. Ooh, I forgot to clean this brush. I gotta clean that. Um, but yeah, I just cleaned all these earlier. Obviously, I forgot that one. <laughs> and then I have more brushes here. I have skincare in here, primers. Um, down there, I have some foundations. I didn't put out all my foundations. I've just put out some. Um, I did see a picture of her on The Knot. That's how she contacted me. So I feel like I didn't want I have like a general idea of like what her skin tone is going to be. I have some of the Juvia's Place foundations out, Face Atelier, um, Clinique, and then these are a mixture. I depotted all these foundations and put them in like these little squeeze tubes. There's some MAC, there's some, I don't know, there's like a mixture of foundations in there. I have some concealers in here. I have Jouer, NARS, MAC, and then down there is just like random stuff. Um, here's my ring light and this is where she'll sit. So yeah, I just thought I would share with you guys my little setup for today. Um, I, I never really get nervous for trials, but today I'm like a little nervous because this is the first time I've done a trial in a really long time where the bride isn't already booked with me. She wants to do a trial and then see if she wants to book, um, where a lot of my brides lately have just been, been just like stumbled over my words a lot of my brides lately have just been booking and then they'll do a trial at a later date which um I don't care either way like I understand why people want to do trials first and then book but for me as a business owner it just makes everything so much easier when people book and then do a trial when they're ready um just to have those dates locked in and know that I am definitely booked on those dates it just makes it easier for me but totally fine so she's gonna do her trial today and then I give my brides that do trials first I give them two days to get back to me with the contract or at least let me know if they're booking me or not so they have like only a few days to give me an answer because I don't hold dates unless I have a contract and deposit that is the only way you can secure a date with me but anyways, I actually printed out my contracts and put like just some other info in here, um, like my spray tanning info. I actually 
um, I want to show you guys. I made this really cute like flyer. Where is it? Hold on. Yeah, I made this really cute flyer. It says spray tan specials. I need a man and then it crossed out it says tan. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was really cute because I do spray tanning as well. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wait for this bride and then I'll catch up. So with I just finished up. Please don't mind. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I literally don't know. But can we just talk about this makeup today? Why don't I do matte eyes more often? Like, oh, I love them on me. I forgot how like beautiful and classic a matte eye is. Like I'm always all about the shimmer, but matte is kind of where it's at. And I feel like this look in particular with a brown wing liner would be, oh my God, perfection. And if you're wondering what's on my lips, I'm wearing the Bible lip liner by the Carly Bible Collection um, with Il Maquillage. Such a good lip liner. Those lip liners are bomb. The Bible color is like the perfect everyday color. And then I really love the brown one as well. And then I just put on Libra, I think, lipstick from the same collection. And then I put on, I think, this gloss by ColourPop. It's like they're so juicy gloss. But I really like it. Um, so my bride just left. I'm like 90% sure she's going to book like... 90% um actually no I'm like 98% sure she's gonna book <laughs> we got along so well she literally was cracking me up like she's hilarious um she's just like one of those people that had like no filter and I love those kind of people because even though I might not come off as that like when I'm in my comfort zone I am loud and I don't really have a filter either <laughs> and I swear a lot and I'm just yeah but you guys don't really see that side to me because i try to keep it professional um but anyways i need to really what the hell is going on i need to fix this hair um i need to put my stuff back into my kit because i'm gonna film a what's in my kit video so keep an eye out for that i think i'm gonna film it now i don't know but yeah I'll catch up with you guys later.